and welcome to the JS Music School YouTube channel. In this blog and video we're going to be looking at um, major seven chords in the cage system. So learning how to move these chords up the neck to give you loads of variety in your chord voicings and um, your songwriting and, and so on. Okay? The first blog we looked at was uh, on this cage system which can be found at jsmusicschool.co.uk and also on the JS Music School YouTube channel. Um, we looked at just simple uh, major chords, we've got the neck. Okay, so C shape, A shape, the G shape, E shape, D shape, okay? And all of them can give you some nice variety and, um, and lots of things. So, okay, so for me, um, there's three main types of seventh chord that you're going to, there's loads of them, but the essential ones so for your songwriting and playing songs, learning songs on major seventh chords, minor seventh chords, and dominant seventh chords. Okay, so um, yes. So the idea is, what we're going to do first is just go through the open shapes. Okay, so that's C major seven, which is basically like C major without your first finger. Really nice chord. Okay, these um, the other chords. Seventh chords have four notes in them, which is worth uh, remembering. B major seven there. Okay. G major seven. E major seven. And D major seven. Okay, so really nice chords. And now to move these up the neck, you know, change your uh, fingering a little bit. So now for the C shape, you use your little third fingers, and then the idea is you're, you're closing off those open strings. So, so that'll be an E major seven then, in the C shape. Okay. Uh, and now the A shape. Again, what I'm doing is instead of first, second, and third fingers, using second, third, and fourth fingers. Okay. And then again, that shape can be moved up. It's a really nice chord. So that would be E major 7 in the A shape, so I've got my root note on the A string. Okay, then G shape. Okay. Now for this one, I'm actually going to use the top half of that chord, okay? So just from the D string, because that shape is a bit impractical as you can see. Um, so I'm just moving that top half of it. The root note, to identify the chord, is actually on the G string. So this is actually the E major 7. G shape, really funky chord that one. So uh, G, that's E major seven G shape. Okay, and now the E shape. I'm gonna do a kind of a part of this chord as well. So, so the original shape you use your first, second, third fingers. Now you're gonna use your second, third, and fourth fingers. Okay. So, a bit of a weird chord, this one, shape. So what I'm going to do here is actually just, instead of using your little finger there, what I'm going to do, that note is already in the chord. That's the best chef sharp, for example, this is B major 7, um, E shape. I'm going to take that note and put it there. So it's like you're playing with an A minor chord, with your second, third, and fourth fingers, and then just your first finger on the low E string. Blocking out that A string. So there's four strings within that. So I actually call that the E shape, even though it doesn't really look like it, but really nice chord for us. So that's B major 7, E, uh, e shape. Okay, cool. So then D shape, quite straightforward this one. Uh, normally you bar it with your first finger. We're going to bar it with our third finger and then move the shape up. So here this is G major 7. So um, again, practice those going up the neck in different shapes um, and know what they're called as well, okay? So the idea is you can go anywhere, C major 7, yeah, and know what the chord is called. Uh, so now what we'll do is we'll do it in one particular kind of key, okay? So, so this is in the diagram as well. So this one here is B major 7. Now I've identified the first available shape according to the, where my first B is, okay? So the first B is on the A string. You can't do the C shape, it's going to be on the neck, so it has to be the A shape. And then we're following the letters in the word cage. So A, B major 7 there, A shape. G shape. E shape. D shape. C shape, okay? Really helps. 
helps you to know your notes on the neck as well. So I'll do that again. So B major 7, A shape. B major 7, G shape. E shape. D shape. And then C shape. So again, really nice. Um, you'll get to know your fretboard a lot better when it comes to arpeggios. You can sync them together. Um, so have fun with that. Practice it in different keys. Um, and we'll see you on the next one, which will... Um, Probably be uh, minus seventh chords, okay? So nice uh, funky <laughs> chords, and then the one after that, and we'll do our bluesy chord. <laughs> okay, so thanks very much for watching. Any comments or suggestions, feel free to post on the uh, the website at jsmusical.co.uk or on the YouTube okay account. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.